Hi everyone, today I will show you how to set up the internal UHF work mode. First, quickly set up the tripod and install the tribrac on the tripod. Then, perform centering and leveling operations until the center of the base is aligned with the control point. After completing the centering and leveling operations, we next install the battery on the RTK. Then install the connecting rod and survey benchmark on the RTK. There are two antennas in the box, the shorter one is the network antenna, and the longer one is the radio antenna. Here, we should choose the longer radio antenna. Install the radio antenna on the RTK. Next, mount the RTK on the tripod base. Recenter and level the instrument. Measure and record the height from the control point to the base station. This will be used in the following base station setup. Turn on the RTK. Connect the controller to the RTK via NFC function. Click Base. Select the internal UHF for the data link. The difference between set by average and set by point is that when selecting set by average, the base station can be set up arbitrarily without being set up on a control point. Normally, the rover should go to the control point for site calibration to obtain the correct coordinates. When selecting set by point, the base station needs to be set up on the control point, and the rover station can directly measure after receiving the differential signal from the base station and obtaining a fixed solution. As our base station is set up on the control point, we choose set by point here. Next, we set the target height. Here we choose slant S for the measure type. Then, enter the height value just measured. The coordinate point should be selected as NEZ or BLH based on the coordinate type of the known point. Then, enter the coordinates of the known point. We usually choose RTCM 3.2 for the correction here. Here we select high target 19200 for the protocol. The default number of channels here is 16. Please make sure that the number of channels for the rover is the same as the base station when setting up later. Click set. The base RTK signal light is flashing to indicate a successful setup. Next, we will set up the rover, turn on the RTK. Connect the controller to the RTK via NFC function. Click Rover. Select the internal UHF as data link. In most cases, we don't need to modify the elevation mask angle. The default value is OK. Select high target 19200 for the protocol. The number of channels here must be same with the base station. Click set. The rover RTK signal light flashing indicates that the receiver is receiving data from the base station. Once the rover RTK reaches a fixed solution, you can start the survey work.